couple of bedside USBs in. I've got to wire everything back to the box properly, yeah. These are all only temporary wired into the box, but I may as well get everything in there and work on the box all at once, so... Yeah, a couple of bedside USBs, tanks in, everything's in that's going in before we go away, I think. We're not going to get the charger in, and yeah, time to get our bed in. I'm hoping I can just squeeze our mattress in without having to cut it for now. I mean, we'll see. Hopefully, there'll be a bit of movement in the foam, and it'll just uh, squeeze on in. Probably not, but you know, uh, slats, bed slats, the rails are back in. My garage is starting to look like a garage again. Slats back in. Mozzies are out in full force. We went for a slightly different one. We've got the, uh, we looked at the 100, but we went for the 150. But yeah, it's uh, it's 150 mil deep. I was just thinking about shell, really. If I move around on 100 mil, it's going to be, you know, 18 stone. Flailing around, probably a bit less at the moment because I've lost a bit of weight whilst moving, so probably 17, but still. It's in. It's got to expand, but it's in. And it's quite cosy. Uh, the garage is obviously back in darkness now and all covered in. Tank sitting there nicely, and I think that's enough for tonight because the camera can see better than I can, but it's dark. So there we go. Good day. Shower tomorrow. Morning, all. Uh, it's pouring down. That's what's amazing. The weather is only going to get worse as well, it says. And I really want to get the tank underneath and the floor done for the shower and cut some ply to fit in and around so at least we look half ready. Um, I'm going to do a, a bit on the electrics now, I think. You've been your record? Yeah. Are you the driver? Yeah, I'm the driver. The driver. Every time I open the door, it's pouring in. It just won't stop. But I've got uh, some wiring tidied up. I've got ours all wired in now on switches and the USBs are all wired in, so they're all working. Uh, his are all wired in and all properly off the switch panel. So everything's switched and fused. And I'm just getting the uh, the TP link in. I've just tidied that up, put a little backing board in for it. Um, that door will still close once the wires are out of the way. Uh, but I'm just going to wire that... Uh, DC to DC and oh there we go I'm just going to wire that DC to DC in I need to put one of these on the max air fan as well because it doesn't like anything over 13.5 volts so it cuts out which you don't need on a hot day oh excuse me it cuts <laughs> it cuts out which you don't need on a hot day but I need to get the wire out of the boot now, which means opening the door. We are starting to look something like in the cupboard. I'm just wiring the kitchen lights and a QC3 fast charging port. And then I can charge batteries in this little section here. Our bedroom's in and on switches. That top panel's finished, really. I don't know why it's sticking out. I'll look at that in a minute. They weren't the best. I mean, they look nice, but crikey, there's a bit of bend on them panels. You're in your bed, aren't you? With your chargers, Wolfie's tablet. All in here is all tidy now. These switches are working for the fan and the bathroom light. Permanent light. And then I've put one of these lights over the cab. So when we're in seating mode, or even when we're driving and we need a nice bright light to look at things, because uh, these are about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. So that one's up there and wired in and I've left tails so I can put another QC3 here so when the table's here it can charge things as well. Uh, Shell and I have both got USBs next to the bed and it's getting there isn't it? Yeah. It's nearly a camper van. Just nearly a motorhome. Nearly, nearly a motorhome, yes, a motorhome you want it to be don't you? Anyway, <laughs> onwards and onwards. Graham's new work bench. 
fucking lefty as well. <laughs> So just in my eye. It's a bit higher than the last wall. Harder to work. So whilst Graham's doing acrobatic tricks on next door's wall, I'm trying to avoid the mosquitoes. It's like a plague of locusts, isn't it? Oh, no, and I've been it's everywhere around Southport though, so. Yeah, everywhere around Southport. Um my legs everywhere, so from the yeah, my legs are just absolutely horrendous, aren't they? <laughs> You're not mentioning your other bets, that got No, <laughs> I'm not. There's a hole in my van. Dear Liza, dear Liza. Oh dear. I had a bit of a conundrum with the hole saw. I bought this hole saw thinking it would fit that hole saw bit but it didn't so all the shops are closed now so i ended up having to uh make it work which led to a couple of bounce outs to start off with but then it's cut nicely outside so that's uh that's a good do um i didn't quite think this through though because i can't find the pure flex it was a lovely sunset tonight you can probably just see the last the dying light maybe over there anyway it's it's getting late but i've got to crack on he wants to go away tomorrow <laughs> three minutes to midnight and i'm not going to get the fiber class in today i'm trying my hardest but i can't sand now i don't want to annoy the new neighbors before we've even uh been here a month but i've got the hole cut and the vent fitted on the outside. I've got the panel in there and I've got it furred around for the most part. It just needs building up a little bit there. So that's all in. It all needs sanding back tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do a bit more filling first over the screw holes and the edges. I've got the 45 in down at the bottom there and I'm just going to put uh, a concave fill around the line there at the bottom that can be sanded back tomorrow uh, just to give me a run up for the fiberglass i'm probably going to come up i would imagine somewhere about that high with the fiberglass so the basin's quite high hmm. there we go that's better afternoon i think now oh it should be by now uh it was about five past one by the time i uh, finished and packed up last night so i didn't film anymore but i did uh, get another bit of filler on so i was ready to sand and just do sort of like finish filling this morning so i've sanded uh and then just fine filled anything that needed fine filling uh i got the base in well the angle for the base and then the round overs uh, yeah so i can lay my fiberglass in now um i just need to get my hole through for my waist so i'm going to put that in i'm going to try and do both holes because i want obviously a waist for the sink as well then get a tank on underneath so there we go it's got a nice shape to it i've just cut a hole for the plug uh, just from tool station right the way through. I've left it a bit bigger because I want to fiberglass in and down. Um, so just a small layer of fiberglass in hopefully. And I've just fashioned a recess using my uh, little multi-tool, the Dremel type copy. So that will just be able to sit in and seal up nice. And hopefully not have any pooling water around it. But jobs are good in there, so time to clean out here. I'll probably just cut my other hole over there whilst I'm at it. Um, and then I might get the tank on. Uh, no, I can't get the tank on until I've got the fiberglass in. So it's fiberglass now, then tank. It has been many hours, many hours since I last filmed anything. And it's all because of the tank and the tank fittings. But finally, 
that's just to protect from the fiberglass. That one's in, that one's in. I had to in the end bring it across and down and both into the same channel and then feed into the tank from there. But what an absolute pig of a thing that was. Anyway, it's done. There was no way of getting it through any of the chassis underneath there. Um, so I had to just plan it to bring it in and then into the top of the tank. Uh, but it's in and I'm gonna, after being bitten several million times, try and get this fiberglass down now. So I'm gonna hoover it, clean it and get this fiberglass in. Right, I've got a, uh... oh man. <laughs> Just had to put the Max Air fan on. Uh, I've got all that hoovered out and I've just given it a clean out with some acetone. And um, I'm gonna cut some glass now. I'll come back to you once I've got some glass cut. I think I'm just gonna do two layers of chop strand mat and then a layer of the uh, tissue before the gel coat. Right, see you in a minute. Right, I've got some glass cut. I'm gonna mix some resin. It's still 18 degrees tonight, so it should go fine, this. Fingers crossed and all that. Um, I'm going to get mixing now. I don't think I pressed record. I set everything up. I put the camera on there. Anyway, that's in. I need a bit of tidying up around the plug hole. Where I've just pulled out is pulled some of the top layer of glass up, but that's all right. I'll sand that back before I gel coat it and it will be fine. Um, I'm only going to gel coat up to the edge there. So I'll put a new piece of pipe in. I've just cleaned all the seal in down there. But you can see where I've come up to all the way around. This corner got a bit of a build up, but it'll make no, never mind. It's catalyzing off now. So I'm just uh, going to give it some whilst I tidy up this mess. But that is giving off some serious heat some serious heat. Always good though. That's cured off now and I've sorted out that back corner. Tried the spouting as well. But man it's late anyway. Uh, East Coast this is uh, uh, is it traffic light white? Yeah it doesn't say. It is, I'm sure it's traffic traffic white or something please use this product is to be brush applied only it's going to get brush applied and we're going for about the same three percent um yeah i'll mix 500 first and see where we get to traffic white looking good Got a cure now. Half an hour, 20 minutes. Freya sulking in the back. He's loaded up, but of a different kind. It's time to go. I'm crouching so we'll make this quick. If you've enjoyed the video, please. Give us a like and subscribe. And if you want to support us, the best way to do it, we've had a few people ask now about buying me a coffee and that sort of thing. Uh, we're not gonna set up buy me a coffee because they take money off you. So if you want to buy us a coffee, we'll leave a link to our PayPal in the description below and just send us a friends and family on PayPal and that'll buy us a coffee whilst we're out and about. That's yeah. the easiest way. And if not, then that's and then if great not, too. We're not yeah. asking you to do that, just people have asked us. So, yeah, the best way to support us, if you do want to support us, is we are powered by Roma. 
we chose them after looking at building our own system and looking at other systems after speaking to them they're over this way we're in a place today and they're very near where we're at we're not giving anything away yet but yeah you can see we're out and about in the van at the moment so if you want to support us then use our link in the description below to buy a Roma battery and we will get a small amount from them for you doing that because we believe in their product we've been using it every day whilst we've been out and about now and we're running Faultless. pretty much yeah everything in the van is running on the Roma battery we've got no charge yet it's just running straight off the DC to DC uh, MPPT that I set up but yeah that Roma battery is awesome and does exactly what it says on the tin so yeah the best way to support us is to buy Roma or to use the PayPal. link yeah, the to buy us a coffee okay. thanks guys see you next time bye bye because you love the crowd you